Few events have combined the fervor of religious zealotry with the drama of a massive civil war, quite like the Taiping Rebellion. From 1850 to 1864, China was embroiled in a conflict so vast, it makes Game of Thrones look like a minor squabble over a misplaced goblet. Let's dive into this tumultuous period where a self-proclaimed brother of Jesus Christ sought to establish a heavenly kingdom on earth. Our story begins with Hong Shu Quan, a man who, after failing the imperial examinations multiple times, and trust me those exams were no joke, had a series of visions. In these visions, he was told he was the younger brother of Jesus Christ. Now, most of us might have brushed off such a dream after a heavy meal but not Hong. He took this divine revelation to heart and set out on a mission to overthrow the Qing dynasty and establish the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. The Taiping rebels weren't just about overthrowing the Qing dynasty for the sake of power. They had a vision, a dream of a society based on a unique blend of Christian and traditional Chinese beliefs. This wasn't your typical Sunday school version of Christianity. The Taipings banned footbinding, opium, tobacco, alcohol, polygamy and prostitution. They also advocated for communal wealth and land redistribution. In many ways they were ahead of their time promoting gender equality by allowing women to serve in the army. The Qing dynasty, which was of Manchu origin, was already facing internal and external pressures. Corruption was rampant, the opium wars had weakened the empire, and there was widespread discontent among the Han Chinese majority. The Taiping Rebellion was the last thing they needed, but, as fate would have it, the Qing dynasty found itself facing one of the most significant challenges in its history. The Taiping forces with their unique blend of religious fervor and military might, captured the city of Nanjing in 1853, making it their capital. For a moment it seemed like the heavenly kingdom was on the verge of becoming a reality, but, as with all epic tales, there were twists and turns. The Qing dynasty, realizing the gravity of the situation, sought help from foreign powers and reformed their armies. With the assistance of Western military advisors and the ever-victorious army, led by the likes of Frederick Townsend Ward and Charles Chinese Gordon, the Qing forces began to turn the tide. Despite their early successes, the Taiping forces began to face internal divisions. Power struggles, strategic blunders, and the relentless pressure from the Qing forces started to take their toll. By 1864, the dream of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom was crumbling. The Qing forces recaptured Nanjing, marking the end of the rebellion. Hong Xiuquan, the visionary leader of the Taipings d. 